They call it a train. It's a recycling train that can turn a four-day repaving project into a two-day event. Save millions of dollars in construction cost, repave roads to last longer, and give us cleaner air. Here's how it improves our atmosphere. The system that is most often used now is to tear out asphalt and then dozens of trucks transport that asphalt to a plant to be reprocessed. And then the plant sells that reprocessed hot mix asphalt back to the city or county and trucks re-deliver that asphalt. Transporting the material back and forth generates a lot of CO2. Reprocessing asphalt in factories with massive amounts of heat also generates CO2. This innovative system, called cold in place recycling, keeps all those trucks off the road. They're not needed. This unit digs down and turns up, grinds up the old beat up roadway and puts it right in the middle of the street. The next unit down the line comes along and recycles it right on the spot. The train mills or shaves off one to 12 inches of pavement, depending on the foundation depth. Once that's deposited on the street, the next units begin the process of recycling on the spot. The front part of the train, the milling unit, weighs 100,000 pounds. The next unit, the recycling plant, another 60,000 pounds. And the third trailer, what they call the emulsion unit, weighs another 60,000 pounds. The train is 144 feet long. The MTC and the Federal Highway Administration brought 50 Bay Area industry leaders here to watch in hopes of changing the Northern California paving industry with this cold in place recycling train. It is a train. The front portion of the train is a thousand horsepower, 12 and a half foot wide milling machine that tows the recycling plant and the emulsion tanker. So that's the word train. It, it only likes to go forward. It does not back up very well. And as you can see by this shot, it loves going straight. Um, on a good day, a normal day, we can do two, two and a half miles a day at about three inches deep. Then a, a standard paving equipment follows behind and then the compaction follows closely behind the paving equipment. Cut the time in half and there's no truck congestion and no truck traffic. Plus the reduction in public inconvenience by, by reducing construction shifts, you actually relieve the public of inconvenience and liability. And by eliminating the trucking, you eliminate truck congestion, fuel, emissions, greenhouse gases. This project here alone in Napa will save about a million pounds of CO2 uh, just in this project alone. So if you can imagine where there's 40,000 miles of roadway through all the Bay Area, that's an awful lot of CO2 savings for uh, our greenhouse reductions. And as we know, uh, our goal at MTC is to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions Bay Area wide by 15 percent. This tanker in the middle of the train convoy shoots a highly engineered goo into the reprocessed asphalt to make it flexible so it will last much longer than the streets you drive on today. Kevin Donnelly is with Western Emulsions Pavement Preservation. And that engineered emulsion, what's, what's special about it is that it has a small amount of rejuvenator in it. Now the rejuvenator has the ability to soften the old asphalt that's being ground up, reactivate it so that when we put it back down, you've got a nice new binder. And it also has some polymers in it that help toughen it up and make it really resistant to traffic quickly. So they call it cold in place recycling because there's no heat used in this process. We're not heating up the pavement in order to extract it. We're grinding it out and adding an emulsion in the closed system and putting it right back down. The emulsion is about 100 degrees, maybe up to 120 degrees. In, our, in this industry, that's considered cold. When you look at the fact that when they place hot asphalt, you're talking 300 plus degrees. The cold in place recycling train has just finished two stops in the North Bay. This one just up Highway 29 in the city of Napa at the Imola exit, repaved nearly three and a half miles of Golden Gate Drive and Freeway Drive. In Sonoma County near Pengrove, the recycling train repaved 2.2 miles of Adobe Road between Corona and Old Redwood Highway. Steve Urbanik is the Sonoma County Pavement Preservation Manager. Um, traditional method was about $23 a square yard for straight HMA and substituting uh, the CIR process, we got it down to $7.30 a square yard. So it was a significant cost savings. And in Sonoma County alone, we'd have, you know, around 1,200 lane miles that are good candidates for this kind of a process. And if you extend that same cost savings over those 1,200 miles, 
It's about $150 million difference. It's big in Southern California where this train is headquartered. The city of Santa Ana is doing the $72 million project with a 70% savings over the traditional method. The MTC is acting as a Johnny Appleseed for Northern California Public Works Department officials who were here to watch. Right now, this is more like a pilot project, so we're hoping with this uh, uh, climate initiative uh, program, sort of planting the seeds out there, and uh, other agencies start coming, in, uh, start to know about this process, and they'll be start, you know, putting the plan together. Right now, the next project after this is South San Francisco, and we have four or five agencies considering recycling in the North Bay area. And after this event, I hope to have another couple dozen. Those projects are not part of the pilot program, which will now wrap up with a $45,000 outreach to spread the word about cold in place recycling. In Napa, Mark Jones reporting.